Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today we're doing some shooting with the famous French 1886 LaBelle rifle. This is truly a rifle that changed everything. It introduced smokeless powder, and with it, the capability to drive lead twice as fast and twice as far as every other rifle on the planet. It was the undisputed king, the champion, the best rifle in the world. For two years. But that's kind of irrelevant for the sake of this video. It caused an arms race, and everyone all of a sudden had to keep up with the French. And the Germans went berserk. They had the 1888 commission rifle, which was not so good, but arguably better. Um, some of the weak points of the LaBelle, however, immediately become apparent once you start messing with it. The sights are somewhat crude, and as you saw earlier, it does lay flat, and you can shoot up to 800 meters that way. It's got this ladder here to where you can adjust up to 2400 meter volley fire, which is optimistic to say the least or you can flip it forward and you've got a 250 meter battle sight. The front sight is a simple post with a sharp taper. The LaBelle uses what's known as a Kropacek magazine system. That is a tubular magazine located underneath the barrel. It can fire Spitzer ammunition though, which is pointed bullets. The French were crafty, however, and put recesses around the primers so that the points of the trailing round sat in these recesses. It's actually a pretty clever way to design and implement Spitzer cartridges in a tubular magazine. It does have this button also, which disables the cartridge elevator and does not allow the magazine to be used. People often joke that the LaBelle was the best single shot rifle of World War I. Disassembling the LaBelle is actually kind of strange. You do have to undo a screw which allows you to separate the bolt body from the bolt head. Um, this is actually kind of similar to a Mosin Nagant rifle, where the bolt body and head are separate pieces, the cocking piece is not shrouded very well, or at all really, um, and the primary extraction is achieved by the bit on the front camming against the receiver ring. So let's shoot it a little bit. Another parallel it definitely has with the Mosin Nagant is the sticky bolt. Here you can see how you load the label. You simply open the bolt and then insert cartridges one after another in the magazine below the barrel. You can also see the recess so that the point of the trailing round does rest into it and prevents it from accidentally setting off a cartridge. Here you can kind of see a demonstration of the cartridge elevator in action. When you pull the bolt to the rear sharply, it activates it. I have quite a bit of experience shooting the LaBelle. I take it to a lot of shoots. I don't know why, I just really like this rifle partially because of the history and partially because it's so accurate. Here I am at 100 meters and I am nailing the heck out of the plate with no problem at all. The battle sight flips forward and gives a simple sight picture but an effective one. Um, the rifle also is not balanced very well. Um, obviously, especially when the magazine's loaded, it's very, very front heavy and long. Um, with the bayonet it's even more ridiculous, but that was the, the 19th century thinking that brought us this rifle. Um, that's evident with the magazine cut off and everything like that. So it's time to take the rifle back to 300 meters, as is the standard operating procedure on these kind of deals with TFB TV, and see if I could hit anything. And to be honest, I really didn't expect to do so. I've shot these, like I said, quite a bit, but mostly at 100 meters or 100 yards. So when I lined the sights up on the gong and let it rip, I was 
pleasantly surprised that I was able to actually do anything. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of a very historically significant rifle. I always enjoy shooting labels, and we have done a run and gun with this. I will put a link in the end card in the description for mobile users. Big thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the cost of ammunition, and we hope to see you guys next time.